Hi, welcome to Mardia and Mustafa's Bakery. The white brick oven, this is where we got our name from. The idea is that the fire is lit in here. Uh, it takes about six hours to heat the oven. And once the fire is burnt down, we remove all the ashes through this slot. And then the, the oven is left to uh, equalize for about an hour. And then the bread is loaded directly in onto the stone floor. And the bread takes probably about 20, 30 minutes to bake. So this is an organic rye grain from the USA. Um, we're now going to put it into the hopper, which is this part, and mill it through the stones to produce flour down here. So we turn on that. I'm now going to adjust the stones so that they will just start, you'll hear them change. Okay, so you can hear them. Now I'm opening the hopper and the wheat is going down here. So you would take some clean water and it mustn't be, uh, probably tap water is no good. Um, we use a well here. Put about 50 grams of water. Then you take 50 grams of flour. Now you can use white flour, rye flour, uh, wheat flour, spelt flour, whichever one you like. All right. But actually rye is, has far more enzymes than wheat, so it's likely to be more lively. So you just mix these two together into a paste. So what you would do with this is cover it and just leave it overnight. Now you leave that until tomorrow morning. Tomorrow what you would do is you will take out half and throw it away. So we put back in 25 grams of water, 25 grams of flour, mix it in with the stuff that's there, leave it another 24 hours. And basically you keep on doing that every day until you start to see bubbles. All right? And as you go through the week, it should get you know, more and more bubbly, until you, it, it should then start looking like this. You know, and you can see it's just a mass of bubbles. Once you get that, you're ready to go. And then once you've got it to that stage, that becomes then your mother. And you never throw it away. You, know, you, just, you keep this in your refrigerator, Uh, this is the mother Levain. Um, this one is about 12 years old. So to start the Levain for tomorrow's baking, because we need to ferment this for about 12 hours, we will just certainly just take a small amount from the mother and put it into a pot. And then we will add in approximately uh, 100 grams of water. And then we put in 100 grams of rye flour. This one is rye, this is a rye leaven we're making. So now we have 200 grams of leaven, plus about five grams that we took out of here. So the total is 205. And then we just mix this in. So first of all, we add in, this is the levain that we made last night. Into here now, I'm going to put uh, 140 grams of water. Then we're going to add in uh, one teaspoon of salt. And then we're going to take um, our new flour, add in 240 grams. We're going to put in uh, 100 grams of uh, pumpkin and sunflower seeds. And then that's it really, we're just going to mix this now. So we just... So 
So one of the things you, you, you should do, very important, is to you know, oil the tin, otherwise it will stick. It is rather frustrating when you have to hack it out of the tin. So make sure that the tin is well oiled. Just simply drop it in there. Just use your hand, get it wet, and then just push it down. You see, once you use wet hand, it doesn't stick anymore. And then it's ready to bake. And you bake this at about 220 degrees uh, for 30 minutes. You just cover it to stop it from drying out while it, while it, cover, while it, while it rises. Got my gloves on. There you are. So you see it didn't really rise. Just a very little bit. You can see inside it's, it's full of the seeds and the nuts.